I bring in all the wishes and greetings uh, to Dr. Prabhat Gautam Roy for scoring rank number one in DM Medical Oncology in any SS session November 2022. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So great to have you in the session today in an interview uh, for the students. And a pleasure to join. Sir. And uh, can we know a detailed background history of yours, where you started and what have you done till date? Yeah, sure, sir. So first of all, uh, thank you and uh, faculty from Speed for making this possible. And so, yeah, I did my, I'm from Delhi. I've done my MBBS from uh, Malanadar Medical College. Then I did my MD in medicine from uh, UCMS in Delhi. And uh, then I worked as an SR in medicine for a couple of years, first at UCMS and then at MAMC again. Then I decided oncology and I came to AIMS where I worked as a non-academic SR for, us, for one session, four months. And uh, now I have cleared this uh, INISS. Excellent, doctor. And why, why oncology? Why medical oncology? So that's an interesting question because uh, I did my two years of uh, um, SRship in medicine because I was not entirely clear about oncology because uh, basically I was interested in medicine. So uh, during my SRship, I got, in, I got interested in oncology because uh, this is the fastest growing field I feel amongst these specialties in medicine. And there is a lot of uh, research going around and a lot of new things coming in and a lot of things that are making great advances and making a difference in how we practice medicine. So that's how I got fascinated with oncology. Yeah, because oncology, people only have a passion to do it or they don't take it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's more of an emotional decision that make for oncology. That's what I have uh, been interviewed so many people and that they have expressed the reason why I asked the question to you. No, sir. Uh... Yeah, basically that. It's an upgrowing field. It's a new field and um, it has a lot of opportunities for newcomers and uh, the amount of research and progress it's making is massive. So mm, that interested me. Yes, the research is on ongoing and developments okay. are also I mean, really at massive and rapid speed and yes. uh, the evolving of uh, pharmaceuticals, targeted agents and also technology. Yes, sir. <laughs> so that kind of fascinated me and uh, made, you know, kind of motivated me to pursue this. It's not a static field, it's a progressive field. Yes, sir. So, Definitely. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> so, can you share what did you do, how did you prepare and how you reached this rank number one? What is the secret behind your success? Sir, I never uh, aimed for rank one. I just hoped to get selected. This just happened. So, I am thankful to a lot of people that it happened. I, I just started because oncology is something for which we don't have a lot of exposure in MD days. So we just have basic hematology exposure. And uh, that is what I had. I mean, just basic heme malignancies exposure and that to just the diagnostic workup part because treatment uh, we did not do at the institutes where I work. Some CML was treated at MAMC, but uh, that was all about it. So uh, during my MD days, I had just read Harrison and the part that is included. And I'll be honest, I could not understand all of oncology back then. <laughs> so I started uh, by seeing speed videos and uh, they helped me make a base in oncology. So uh, that is how I got my basics sorted. And then uh, yeah, just basically speed videos and uh, lectures. And uh, that helped me crack my non-academic SRship exam at Ames. And then uh, while working here, uh, I got to know more about oncology. I, I learned a lot of things while working in board and uh, that helped. So both things, speed helped me get to non-academic SRship and uh, speed again helped me with my theory in, for the INI plus the work which uh, we did in oncology boards that was uh, helpful. What is non-academic SRship when you're saying, saying something on? What is that? Uh, so, sir, at AIMS, uh, there is uh, an academic SRship for DM students and uh, non-DM SRship is also uh, people take up non-DM SRship. It's well. non-DM, not, not non-academic, non-DM. Yeah, so the term that is used here is academic SR for SRs who are in a DM program. And non-academic SRs okay. for SRs who are not in a DM program, but uh, the work we do is the same. The responsibilities we share is the same. 
-hmm. so that uh, helps us get a insight into what oncology is and that bridges the gap between theoretical knowledge for which i did speed and uh, the practical things which are being done because, no uh, <laughs> the board yeah because the exam was also uh, board matlab was oriented to practical things that we do the stuff we are doing day in and day out so the perspective helps is a good idea actually i can recommend in my next video i'll note this so once whatever you are interested in that speciality go and work there and read it. read so it has a yes. good correlation you will live in that yes exactly <laughs> because reading something is one thing it's the same with md i mean we read stuff during mbbs but once we do the residency for 3 years that is when we put it in practice and we get a better understanding of the same thing which we have read so similarly here working the strengthened a few concepts made a few con new concepts for me i understood a few new things and uh, so yeah that perspective helped good idea good idea. fantastic i got a good concept today uh, yes sir whatever the specialty post md you want to do go and join yes. us in sr work in that place simultaneously Barrett. read theory yes. and uh, in your home and then in in a month's time you can appreciate all the cases in opd and you can see in the ward and there will have a clear correlation for what you have learned and, and uh, also because uh, i was sure after this assessment that yes i really wanted to do oncology because initially uh, oncology is something as i said we did not have a lot of exposure to so working here in oncology wards in oncology opd uh, that was a good experience and a learning curve and uh, i was sure that yes after working here that yes this is one field which i would like to take up for pm in the exam also it will be very helpful you can understand the question exactly yes uh, that helps because uh, basically the uh, a few questions were directly from the cases we routinely see in opd and what is the next best investigation earlier uh, while i was doing my md and medicine as aship i had to mug up a few things which came into practice while working in oncology wards because those were the things which uh, we are doing day in and day out so uh, that helps the perspective helps very good very good excellent thank you how many questions did you attend this exam I attempted seventy-seven. Okay, this is my routine question. Don't take it; does not have any value. But just I, I mean, see. I uh, attempted seventy-seven. <laughs> I see how many will required to get top rank. So I just make a study for myself, and so that when I present the next video, I can inform others. So, uh, what is the message that you want to give to the aspirants of DM Medical Oncology future? So uh, it's a great field, and uh, if. Uh, if it falls with the aspirants uh, you know the plans then uh, i would really recommend that you should work in oncology ward because it is different from what we imagine it will be it's not the same as that i found it much more better than what i imagined and things which we do are very different from what we do in uh, internal medicine it is not the same so uh, i took a, a slightly different route i worked in oncology and then decided that yes i wanted to do this so i can recommend them to work for a couple of months and see if they really want to do it because uh, this is something that is going to stay for life it's it's the last degree that we have in india so uh, <laughs> one has to be really sure of doing it right. and uh, so that is one thing and uh, then next the other thing is that uh, it's okay not to have read uh, big books like devita because i myself never could read any of it i mean Uh, yeah i did not read much of devita because it's uh, it's massive basically and it's very overwhelming and uh, uh, i did not have the time basically so uh, speed is a good platform i uh, attended all most of the lectures i i mean i did not attend all i did not get the time to attend all but yeah at least 80 90% basic things i covered everything and it has been uh, very nicely explained by all the faculty so uh, that is one thing which i can recommend and uh, yeah that's all <laughs> great doctor wonderful uh, talking to you and i have learned a uh, few things which are very inspiring and uh, and i wish you all the best and all thank you success as a great you. oncologist in making and definitely your work will serve millions of people who are going to come for the same and thank you sir I wish you once again all the best and all the success Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for all the support and uh, guidance. Thank we'll you. keep we'll keep in touch. Definitely, sir. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.